Why did you become a recording artist? Wow. <laughs> uh, it was so long ago. I mean, I started like seven years ago. Uh, really, it was more to express myself at first. Um, like when I was little, I ain't never used to talk about like, you know, when I went through something. So I ain't know how to express it to other people. So I started putting it throughout on tracks. Um, I mean, I still do that to this day. Like, it helps me cope with a lot of stuff. If I'm angry, I get in the studio. If I'm feeling down, I get in the studio. So I think it's pretty much to, like, navigate my emotions. I, that's why I started doing music. Some of these emotions that you're talking about, have you ever gotten professional help for? Nah, hell nah. <laughs> nah, I'm straight. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why my professional help is music. You know, before that, I wasn't talking to nobody. I was just keeping everything to myself. Now, you hear me say something that I'm probably going through in my music, so that's my professional help right there. That's how I, I relax. How did you get into rap, hip-hop music specifically? That genre there? I mean, I, I always grew up listening to rap. That was my favorite at all times. Like, always listening to Gucci growing up, um, Bootsy, Webby. So, listening to those artists, I always was a fan of, Hip hop, rap, um, yeah. So, I mean, that's like my favorite genre. I don't really cross over too much. How did you discover their music? Gucci, Boosie, Webby. Uh, let me see. Well, Boosie, shoot. I mean, like you, it was hard not to discover. But he just he found me in school. Like Boosie, one, two, three, four, five. When he was doing all those mixtapes, that's that's what everybody was listening to when I was in elementary school. Gucci, I, I first, uh, So Icy, when he dropped So Icy, I wasn't even a fan yet, but when he came back, I think he got locked up, he got out, and he started dropping those, uh, those mixtapes, some Trapaholic mixtapes and stuff like that. That was like my favorite artist after that. And what age or what grade was this when you, I know you said you grew up to it, but when you got into this music? When I got into music? Uh, well, no, when you got into the Gucci, the, the Gucci, Boosie, the Webby. Like, yeah. Gucci was more so middle school, on um, like eighth grade, ninth grade, going to high school. Bootsy was like my whole elementary. Like that's what I'm saying. Like elementary, like we were little kids. Like everybody was jamming the Bootsy mixtapes that came out. Like in Savannah, like Bootsy is like, like he one of the big dudes. Like we like we love Bootsy, but we love Flash. That's how I do it. Camouflage. How did you learn how to rap? Did anyone teach you? Nah, ain't nobody taught me. Um, uh, damn, that's, I don't know, man. I just kind of knew how to do it. It's like if you got if you got flavor, if you got a, a ear for a beat, if you got rhythm, it's kind of easy to do. Um, it took me a while to like develop my craft and perfect what I'm doing today. But I always knew how to rap. It was, it was easy. How long do you think it took you? to perfect your craft up until this point? Oh, it took years. Um, Cause I like, I, like when I, uh, when I first started rapping, I was writing, um, my flow was totally different. I was trying to find myself. Now I'm freestyle, I just, it just come off naturally. Like you know my style now, cause it just me, like it just naturally come out. The finding yourself part. Yeah. How long did that portion take? Years, like, cause like, it's, it's, it's crazy, it's like, cause I, I, would, I would think that I did find myself years ago, like, but I just keep developing and maturing and getting better and better. And it's like, well, dang, I wasn't even at the point that I am. Like, I, it was no way I found myself yet. I, I can't, I'm way different now. It's like, now I feel like I'm molding into the artist that I want to be. Back then, I was still trying to learn the work, trying to, I wasn't consistent in the studio. So I couldn't really develop my craft like I wanted to. Now I'm in the studio every day, and it's just like clockwork to me now. Gucci, Boosie, Webby, these were your musical influences, or was it somebody else? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, like I said, Gucci, Boosie, Webby. Um, who else I was rocking with? Back when I was little. I mean, I mean, of course I like Tupac and everything like that, but like that was more so listening to that when my dad was listening to it. My artists. Gucci, like, yeah, walk, most definitely. Have you had a chance to personally meet any of these artists you just mentioned? 
Nah, man. I do want to meet Gucci. I'm up here. And, and Bootsy, if I can link with him. I want to do a feature with him or something like that. I always want to do a song with Gucci. So if you see this walk, your boy want to do a feature. I'm in Atlanta. It's four hours away. I'm, I'm up here. And you're referring to Savannah? Yeah. Savannah Wait. to Atlanta. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, Gucci know about Savannah. At this point, are you a full-time recording artist? Yep. Most definitely. How long have you been full-time for? Like three, four months. Like since May. Ever signed a recording contract? Hell nah. I'm 100% independent. Been offered? Yeah. Uh, I got offered to get flown out to New York, and it's like, that's not my path. Like, I don't feel like I'm big enough to be signing the deal yet. Like, I want to, you know, develop myself and see, I want to get my own core fan base and, you know what I'm saying? Like, me signing the deal right now won't really make sense to me. This was a major record label that offered to fly you up? Yeah, um, with a Def Jam. Mm hmm and you tell them, no thank you? You decline it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I was entertaining it, but um, yeah, I just, just didn't go. Did they have a reaction? No, nah, I mean, I think they followed up with like an email or something like that. But like, I just didn't, like, I wasn't, at first I didn't even know it was real. And then when I found out it was real and I looked into it, it was like, it just didn't make no sense to me. like. Me signing the deal right now, it's not, I'm not really entertaining that at all until I get my name to where I want to get it at. Looking back, mm -hmm. did you make the right decision? Yeah, yeah, because it's like, I can do, I feel like I could do what a label can do for me right now, like, or what they will offer to do for me right now. I feel like I could do that myself. I know it's only been three months. Yeah. But have you ever felt like quitting? Yeah, before the three months. <laughs> <laughs> like before that three months, I felt like quitting. During the three, three months, nah, hell nah, I'm all the way turned up. I'm ready to go forward and uh, I feel like this like the best I've ever been right now. So yeah, I ain't had no doubt, I ain't had no thought in my mind about quitting on this last three months. Why didn't you quit? Um, Cause I got financially good. Like I, that was my purpose. Like my, my thing about it was like, I wasn't financially stable to do this music. That's how I felt. Then a uh, few months passed, I got I turned everything around, got where I want to be so where I can live comfortably and finance my music like I want to. So now it's like, it's a lot easier. Now I can do the work behind it. I just needed the machine. How'd you do it? How'd you get financially stable? Well, I was working at first. I, I was a car salesman. So I had to really just tighten up like, Grind. I was just grinding, putting money to the side, not doing nothing extra, just hustling all year. And then when I uh, finally decided not to go back to work no more, you know, I had enough money to put aside to go ahead and just start doing this route. So I jumped all the way in. You did get an offer to fly out to yeah. New York from Def Jam. Was that within the three months after you already became a full time recording artist, or was that nah, before? No, nah, that was before. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. That was before. Um, since the three months, I ain't been like my email be blowing up, bro. I don't know if somebody hit me or not. Like, like even when I seen like like it's just crazy. This is too much going on in my emails right now. Like, so I ain't even even see if a label reached out to me or not. If they did, it's like it probably won't even matter. Like I'm still not interested right now. When it came to not quitting, you would say it was self motivated or. A support system. No, nah, it was self motivated. Cause I mean, with this music, like it's all on me. Like it just is either I'm gonna do it or I'm not, or I'm not gonna do it. And I was never a hundred percent until now. That was another thing. Like that was slowing me down. I was never really all the way focused on music. I was focused on work or, or this or that. Now it's just like music right here in front of me. So I I ain't got no excuses. Anyone ever tell you? Maybe this stuff isn't for you. You should quit. Nah. <laughs> nah, that's the thing. Like everybody listening to me, like, they want me to they want me to do it. They like, man, you gotta do this. You gotta move out the city. Oh man, you can't do this. You gotta do like are you a star. You but it's like, I mean, I hear you, I understand. 
I want to get there. I just, I'm just not there yet.